What's up tech, it's Josh here, and I wanna go over what I think are the must-have accessories for an iPhone 13, 13 Pro Max, iPhone 13 mini, all the iPhone 13s. Before we get started, I wanna give a shout out to a channel supporter, Musicbed. Get incredible music for your videos, sign up for a free account. I use Musicbed for this channel and also my professional work with the Evergreen Creative Company. Link below in the description. I've loved the MagSafe system that Apple has created and the third-party accessories are great too. Many of the products I'll mention in this video are MagSafe related. As a matter of fact, it's one of the factors that has sucked me deeper into the Apple ecosystem. Anyways, I'll leave a link in the video description with all the products mentioned in this post. So in no particular order, here are my top recommendations for the iPhone 13 accessories. MagSafe case. You gotta have a case that accepts all the MagSafe accessories. My favorite everyday case is the Nomad leather case. It's awesome. I use the Nomad case every year, but this year it's so much better because of this one feature. They've built in a digital business card in the case. I use this digital business card all the time. I don't like carrying around a lot of business cards on me, and when someone needs a business card, all I have to do now is just tap the back of their phone. They not only have my contact info, but they also have a link to anything I send them to, my website, social media sites, review links, and more. The case not only looks great, it protects, but it's also simply practical. I recommend this case highly. MagSafe Duo Charger. This is an item that I carry around with me and definitely when I travel. It's minimal, it charges both my iPhone and Apple Watch, and it's MagSafe. It's pricey, but it's worth it to me. I've tried a couple of knockoffs and they just feel cheap. Speaking of the Apple Watch, the Apple Watch is also a great companion for the iPhone. The new generation watch is responsive, it's got a larger screen, it helps manage notifications, health, and a ton more features. MagSafe wallets. Now the Apple One has a built-in tracker this time. The first generation did not have that, but they updated that this year. If it falls off or you lose it, it'll let you know where it disconnected. I do wish the feature were like air tags, but nonetheless, it's a cool feature. It limits you to three cards, but that's okay with me because all I need is my personal credit, business credit, and my ID card. If you need more card space, I do have this black one that I've used. It gets the job done and it also acts like a regular minimal wallet. Air tags. I placed these on my backpacks, my camera bags and boxes, keys and luggage. I was able to track my bags while traveling by air and my wife definitely uses the air tags to find her misplaced keys all the time. It's a very useful and practical product. Pop sockets. Something I've really not used before because I like to use wireless charging and in the past, the wireless charging would be blocked by the pop socket so I never ended up using it. Now with a MagSafe pop socket, I can simply remove the pop socket and place it on a charger or mounts when needed. MagSafe batteries. I told you it's on the MagSafe kind of stuff. The Apple one interacts with the iPhone letting you know how much of a charge is left. You can use the widget to keep up with the battery charge. The other snap on, but you don't get the Apple features. Anchor has a couple options and their latest one definitely is better than the previous model. I've used the iPhone 13 Pro Max and the only battery that fully charges this iPhone is this big brick one. The others will give you enough to keep you going. The new Anchor will also act as a kickstand. AirPods. I really like using AirPods Pro. I've used the first generation AirPods, second generation AirPods, and the Pros have definitely won me over with the different features like transparency mode, noise canceling, in spatial audio. These modes are super practical for many environments. So for photography and videography, you can check out a full video about a small rig camera cage that lets you attach lenses, handles, mics, lights, and more. To add to that, Moment has lenses that you can use with your phone. They have an adapter that you can basically use with any kind of phone setup with a case or not. I love using the anamorphic lens to hunt lens flares and it gives that cinematic look. Anchor has a lineup called MagGo, and one of the cool products that I was attracted to was this MagGo ring. This is another one of those grips that you can use and you just kind of place it on like a ring. My only feedback about this is that you have to take the ring off in order to be able to expand the ring. If there's an easier way to have it while it's still attached to the phone and then pull it off and then pivot the ring out, that would be a lot easier to me. However, I do enjoy using this. You can actually use it as a kickstand and it's a great little product. It doesn't take up too much space either. Lastly, the MagSafe car mount. I use this every day. It's been the best car mount I've used. The heavy iPhone 13 Pro Max stays connected without any issues of falling off, even if you hit big bumps. I've never had a fall off the mount. It's also simple to place off and on. I'm not a fan of vent mounts because I live in the hot south and I don't want any kind of air to be blocked. This mount is perfect for my needs. So there you go. There's a big list of different kind of accessories that you can get with your iPhone. 13, 13 Pro, 13 Pro Max, iPhone 13, iPhone mini, any of the 13 lineup. These are items that I use on a regular basis. I have them with me pretty much all the time, whether it's in my pockets, 
in my backpack, in my car, I always have these kind of accessories around. Again, a link will be down below in the video description if you're interested in picking any of this up for yourself. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. Hit a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any more videos from me. And until then, stay techie.